Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. This week I want to speak about being in the present, but not necessarily being present and, well, it is about being present. <laughs> I'm making a mess of this introduction, but it's more than that. So I don't know if you've heard, most people know this, that anxiety and stress lives when we think about the future and regret lives when we think about the past. And as human beings, we spend a lot of time thinking about the past or thinking about the future. And we're programmed to want to grow, to want to learn, to want to evolve. Um, and that requires us having desires. Um, and desires bring a lack, a, a sort of um, a mindset of lack, because when we look around us, the thing that we desire is not already here with us, more often than not. What we desire is something in the future, a larger house, more money, um, a partner, um, children, um, experiences, adventure, whatever it happens to be. And although those things are good, because as I've said, we're designed to grow, to expand, to evolve, what it can lead to is looking at where we are now and making it wrong. Looking at our lives and feeling lack, that we don't have those things that we desire, that we want, um, when we look around and, and see our lives as they are. And today what I really wanted to sort of talk to you about is learning to look at your lives and being grateful and um, feeling so joyful and happy for where you are. Because when we desire other things and we look at our lives and we feel regret or we feel that we lack stuff, it's not a nice feeling. It makes us feel less, um, it makes us feel sad, um, unfulfilled, um, unhappy, um, depressed or whatever it happens to be. But it's really just a focus of the mind. And that's not to say that those desires are wrong. You can have those desires because as I've said, it's good to grow and good to evolve. But learn to be happy where you are as well. Um, many years ago, <laughs> I wanted to create a relationship. I was single at the time and I wanted to have a partner. And I read this thing online about how to manifest a partner. Um, and it was quite fun, actually. They talked about creating space in your cupboards so that there was space for them, the, the new partner, to put their clothes, making sure that there was parking for two cars. When you went to bed, making sure that there was space in the bed so that you could have, you know, so that you were creating space for your partner and so on and so forth. And I did all of this and nothing happened and nothing happened. And then finally, I don't know if I read about it or if something just fell into place in my mind. And I suddenly realized that what I needed to do was to make my life right where I was. So instead of feeling the lack of a partner, to feel joyful for my singleton, you know, for feeling, for being single, for, you know, where I was in my life. Um, and I remember sort of splaying myself across the bed and thinking how wonderful it was not to share a bed. Um, I remember when I was cooking food in the evening, thinking how lovely it was that I only had myself to please, that I could choose what I wanted to cook. Um, I remember when I went out at night, thinking how wonderful it was that I didn't have to let someone know where I was going or see if they wanted to come with or make a decision with somebody else. I was free to do whatever I wanted to do. And that didn't mean that I didn't want to have a partner in my life. Um, I still did. But what I was simply doing was making where I was right instead of making where I was wrong. And whether it was coincidence or whether it was manifestation, you'll have to decide. But within four days of doing that, I then met the person that I then went out with for, I think, three years or something like that. So that's what this video really is about. It's about looking at your life and making it right where you are now, looking at the things to be joyful for, the things to appreciate, the things to be happy about, not stopping those desires, not looking, not stopping to sort of grow or to ex explore new things or to experience new things, but also not resisting where you currently are, looking around and making everything of where you are absolutely right, irrespective of what it is you're wanting to attain in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please like. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, either drop them in the comments or you can contact me through my website. I would love to hear from you and I will answer any questions that you share with me. Um, also, if you're interested in coaching or any of my online courses, again, the links to that are in the show notes below. Have a fabulous week. So much love from me to you. Bye bye.